How's it going pranksters? Welcome back to another gaming setup video. And in this video I will be building a whole gaming station from scratch so you guys can see how easily it can be done when you have the right equipment. Before we get started though, let's choose a winner for the following giveaway. And what I have right here is the Mero Full HD 1080p projector. Basically what we get inside this box is the power cable, power block, a remote control and the actual projector which is very tiny but will get the job done. You can hook up all your smart devices through the HDMI port and no additional audio equipment is needed as this projector comes with internal speakers built in. Again this is small and compact and can fit anywhere. Just look at the size difference compared to my UST projector. So I went ahead and mounted my projector onto a tripod about a 9 foot distance and basically gave me about 90 inches of screen which to me was really huge. Popular apps such as YouTube and Netflix already come integrated but you can download more if you wish to. Watching movies on here is great but you can also hook up your favorite game consoles as well. In the description below I will have a 25% discount code for those of you who wish to get one of these epic projectors. And so let's go ahead on to commonpicker.com and choose a winner from the comments. Congratulations Singer for Eternity, you will be getting a projector in the mail very soon. Now as far as the giveaway for this video, if this video gets 500 likes, which isn't a lot guys, I will be giving away an Iron Man gaming chair from the brand and the seat. And since most of you guys are gamers, I'm sure you like to enter this giveaway, well just go ahead and leave a like on this video and a comment below telling me which is your favorite superhero and why. Also you can follow me on Instagram to improve your chances of winning this chair. Just leave a comment on the designated post at real underscore next raker. Good luck pranksters, now let's get started with the setup. Alright, the first thing I gotta mention is that this setup will be built around the Game Dias De Delus E3 Gaming Desk and the Game Dias Aphrodite EF1L Gaming Chair. I gotta admit the box was heavy but once I opened it up, the building process looked more simple than I originally thought it would be. So I went ahead and took out all the items from inside to make sure that there was no missing pieces and I was able to verify this by looking at the instructions manual. Also the box came with a QR code which allowed me to access the manual with my phone. So basically the two main colors represented in this gaming desk are red and black. Pretty much the legs and support area are red with the exception of the all black desktop. Putting it together is much easier when you have someone helping you but with the right power tools assembling this desk is a breeze. In fact I hardly had to refer to the assembly manual because everything was pretty basic and common sense. So once every screw was tightened on my desk was officially built. It's a very beautiful desk guys. The legs come with some branding on the outside. The all black desktop is almost 60 inches in length. The outer edges have some decorative protective plastic and that just adds a better look to the desk. It also gives me plenty of room for my setup. This desk provides a headset hook underneath as well as a rotating metal cup holder that will come in handy for drinks. And this right here is my desk, pranksters. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Game DS gaming chair. And this box was also heavy and big, but I love that because I know the gaming chair will be of great quality. So just like I did with the desk, I started out by taking out every single item from inside the box and I verified with the assembly manual that nothing was missing. Since you guys know I'm already an expert at building chairs, I was easily able to put this chair together. And yes, my power tools did help out a lot in the process. Now as you can see, this chair is mainly all black pew leather with red trim and the Game Dias branding on it. Included with this chair are two pillows, one for lumbar support and the other acts as headrest. Both of these are branded as well. Overall I did like the design of the red stitching. The armrest could use some work but nonetheless they do get the job done. With this chair we also get height adjustment as well as the ability to recline back at a full 165 degrees. The max weight for this is 330 pounds so it does have some high weight resistance. For now I will set this chair aside and bring it back towards the end once we have completed our entire setup. We are now back to the Game Dias gaming desk. Before I place anything else on there. I needed to bring out a lamp. 
basically one that is adjustable and can power up one of my smart e light bulbs. I showed you guys how these work in a previous video. So I clamped it on the back of the desk right in the middle. The idea here is to make a work and play type setup. So therefore I went ahead and unboxed the FlexiSpot M7F 28 inch computer riser. So with this riser we get bamboo texture. It's a nice color but doesn't match up too well with my color scheme. But honestly I'm not too concerned about that. I care about more what it can do for me. So once I took out everything from the box which wasn't much. Just the actual riser and then the add-on which is a keyboard tray. The metal stand for this riser is all black. On the bottom it has rubber feet for better grip. Underneath the actual riser is where we find the gas spring system. Basically guys by pressing on the side handle of the riser it will go up from 4.7 inches at its lowest point to 19.7 at its highest. It goes up very easily and its max weight capacity is about 33 pounds so I can definitely put a few things on top of this riser. The keyboard tray easily slides inside its designated slot and just as easily it can be removed. But I'll leave it as is for now. To bring it down we just gotta push it down. I chose the left side of the desk to position the riser. So pretty much it took up half the length of the desk. And here is my MacBook which I mainly use for work and that will be going on top of the riser. The left side is more convenient for me. I really like this riser as sometimes I love to work standing up and this makes it easier to do that. Since there's room next to my MacBook I figured it would be the perfect time to unbox my brand new Lapau Z1 series 15.6 inch portable 1080p monitor. Upon lifting the box cover I was met with an extended warranty option card and underneath that we have a protective foam cover which I do believe is essential to keeping this monitor protected. On the left side compartments we have a USB power block. This is great for powering up the monitor and to be able to do that we also need this USB to USB-C cable. This right here is a clear protective shield which can be applied onto the screen to avoid potential scratches. It can easily be placed on. I will leave it as is although it is nice to know that this is included in the package. Now this right here is a monitor. It's wrapped in foam and I'll wait till the end to actually show you guys how it looks like. So for now I'll place it aside. Underneath that we have more accessories such as a full USB-C cable. This HDMI to mini HDMI is essential to hooking up the monitor to video game consoles and computers. Here's a pack of wipes. The user guide will help us better understand the monitor and utilize it to its full potential. So that is very handy to have. Now pranksters the unveiling of the actual lapel monitor. So check it out guys. The monitor actually comes inside its very own protective cover. The neat thing about this is that it stays on magnetically but it can also be adjusted in two ways either to act as a protective cover or a stand. This is the Lepau Z1 series 15.6 inch 1080p monitor. Weighs 1.7 pounds and as you see I'm removing the protective plastic from the screen. On the sides we have the speakers for this monitor. And if we look on the right side that's where the on and off button is located. Above this is the settings dial and a USB-C port. The opposite side has a HDMI port, another USB-C port and a 3.5mm audio port. Like I said guys you can use the protective cover as a stand for this monitor just like I'm doing right here. So I went ahead and placed the monitor on the right side of my MacBook. Made the right connections and adjusted the settings on my computer. Now I can have more space to work with while using my MacBook. You can see that it acts as a second monitor perfect for multitasking but if I wanted to I could easily use this as a gaming monitor as well. It provides great color and amazing visuals that will make any project that I work on stand out. Oh and yeah I can use this vertically as well. So yeah there's so many pluses to getting one of these to make your setup look and operate much better. You'll find the link to this monitor in the description below. Moving on I brought out my wired RGB keyboard from Anki. This will make using my MacBook way easier and it provides a small light show as well. Next to it I placed a small mouse pad. It barely fit on the riser's keyboard tray. My Aki RGB mouse will also be taking its place there. For audio here I have the Phil CC2 wireless earbuds. Right away these look like an alternative to the Apple AirPods so of course I had to open up the box and find out for myself. Right off the bat they're nicely packaged. Basically what you see here are two earbuds and its wireless charging case. They have the shape and form of a classic earbud except that these are wireless. Each one magnetically slides into its designated slot for proper charging when not in use. Also included in the box is a USB to USB-C cable for charging and the user manual actually has a QR code to download the Fail app to have better handle of these earbuds. I love that the app also tells you the battery level for each earbud 
earbud as well as the charging case. Once I paired mine to my iPhone using Bluetooth, I knew that these were not just for mobile devices, so I went ahead and paired it with my MacBook using Bluetooth. Overall, these were perfect for my setup, super lightweight and with a lot of battery life. These will definitely come in handy. Since I have a few devices that run on Wi-Fi, I needed a strong signal, especially since my main modem router is in a different room. Luckily, I was able to get this Rockspace AX 1800 extender. So let's go ahead and unbox it real quick. Inside the box, we have the quick start guide, which will show us multiple ways on how we can hook up the Rockspace AX 1800 extender, and that includes the method via WPS. Here we have an ethernet cable because it is an option to use and now we move on to the actual extender. As you can see it's all black and the first thing we gotta do is adjust the antennas. Now on the back we also have to insert the power plug. As soon as it clicks on it's good to go. I just have to plug this into the outlet. Ideally it's best if it's closer to the router at first. All the instructions to make this extender work for you are included in the quick start guide. We just gotta choose the best method that works for us. And once all the connections are set, we can enjoy quality Wi-Fi even if the router isn't nearby. Now we are finally done with the work side of our setup. Let's move on to our gaming section, which will be on the right side. So on there I will place my curved monitor which is perfect and powerful enough to handle my PlayStation 5. And that I will place on the center of the desk. What an awesome gaming machine the PlayStation 5 is guys. If you have one, you are lucky. Just check out this very beautiful black and white controller. This thing is a beauty. I'll place it on top of the desk as well. With our setup almost complete, I had to bring out our gaming chair as we cannot game all day standing up. To truly finalize our desk setup, I had to bring out a Red Bull and place it on the designated drink holder and of course some Pringles that I will leave under the monitor. Now guys, when it comes to unboxing items and building setups, things sometimes get messy but luckily I was able to get this Red Key F10 cordless handheld vacuum. So real quick, I'm about to unbox it for you guys. You see guys, keeping your setup neat and clean is a must, especially if you're a live stream gamer. So inside this box, here is what we get. The main handheld body where everything attaches to, the long aluminum tube with the flexible hose, the electric rolling brush, a 2-in-1 dusting brush, a crevice tool, the charging deck, the actual charger, the battery, and an extra filter. So the first thing we do is make sure that there is a filter inside the main handheld body. Once it's in, I just close up the cap. Now it's time to slide in the battery to power up the vacuum. By pressing on the trigger, the vacuum automatically begins to work. It'll start off at its lowest speed as you can see by the blue light indicator and then we can increase the speed as much as we need. What I like about this vacuum is that it gives us options depending on our needs and by that I mean we can transform it any way we want. For example, I can choose to attach the long aluminum tube and attach to that the electric brush. This is for those messes that are always scattered all over the place. So this helps cover more area and we can clean up faster. As you can see it picks up with ease. Even in dark places the LEDs in the front allow us for better visual and dust can easily be spotted. Check it out guys, I love this function as it allows the vacuum to get into those hard to reach places under the desk. Now if I was to insert the crevice tool, it would enable me to target certain small spots. For example here is my gaming chair and I can keep up with its maintenance very easily. There's a reason why it's called a crevice tool. Last but not least we have the 2-in-1 brush and this one I actually used to clean the carpeted stairs in my house but for this example I'm cleaning my desk because as you guys know I always have snacks when I'm gaming and I tend to make a mess. So the idea here is to have a clean and neat gaming setup. So that's when this add-on comes into play and just like that I cleaned up my desk. So yeah guys, I highly recommend this vacuum. It doesn't take up a lot of room and you can easily hang it up on the wall with the help of its charging deck. It charges while it stays out of the way, but when we need it, we can easily put it to work to keep our gaming station clean and mess free. Again guys, this was the Red Key F10 handheld cordless vacuum cleaner and you'll find the link for this in the description. So once everything is powered up, this is what our desk looks like. As you can see on the left side, we have our working area and the other side is our gaming area. 
Building this setup was a lot of fun pranksters and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Again, congratulations to the winner of the projector and if you want to be a winner too, go ahead and enter my gaming chair giveaway. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video and leave a comment below. Also guys, it pays off if you follow me on Instagram at real underscore next raker. Thanks for stopping by pranksters, I'll see you guys in my next video.